The Boeing E7A Wedgetail is a cornerstone of the Royal Australian Air Force's airborne early warning and control capability, offering advanced surveillance, battle management, and command and control functions. Built on the Boeing 737 Next Generation airframe, the Wedgetail is distinguished by its fixed, active electronically scanned array radar, providing superior situational awareness and battle coordination. Since its introduction into service, the aircraft has proven to be a vital force multiplier for Australia's defense strategy, enhancing operational effectiveness across air, land, and maritime domains. The origins of the E7A Wedgetail trace back to the late 1990s under Project Wedgetail, when Australia sought to modernize its AEWNC capabilities. The initial contract was awarded to Boeing in December 2000, with the first aircraft initially slated for delivery in 2006. However, integration challenges with radar and electronic support systems led to significant delays, pushing initial operational capability to 2012. Despite these early setbacks, the Wedgetail has since become a proven and reliable platform, achieving final operational capability in 2015. Operationally, the Wedgetail has been instrumental in both domestic and international missions. In April 2014, it participated in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, providing airborne coordination for maritime patrol operations. Later that year, the aircraft was deployed to the Middle East as part of Australia's contribution to Operation Okra, where it played a crucial role in coalition air operations against the Islamic State. The Wedgetail demonstrated its endurance and effectiveness, with some missions lasting over 17 hours, requiring multiple aerial refuelings. In 2023, an Australian Wedgetail was deployed to Europe, was deployed to Europe to support NATO operations related to the conflict in Ukraine, further underscoring its strategic importance in global defense efforts. The Wedgetail's technical specifications can contribute significantly to its operational effectiveness. Equipped with the Northrop Grumman multi-role electronically scanned array radar, the aircraft can track up to 180 targets simultaneously and conduct up to 24 intercepts. The system provides a surveillance range of over 400 kilometers with capabilities extending to both airborne and maritime threats. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with electronic warfare self-protection measures, including chaff and flares and advanced communication suites that integrate seamlessly with allied forces via Link 16 and other data link systems. Comparatively, the Wedgetail holds significant advantages over regional competitors. The KJ-2000, operated by China, is based on an older airframe Ilyushin IL-76 and uses a rotating radar, which is generally less effective than the fixed ASA system of the E-7A. Similarly, India's AEWNC aircraft, such as the DRDO Netra, offer more limited coverage and endurance. The only aircraft that can truly match or surpass the Wedgetail in capability is the U.S. Air Force's E-3 Sentry. However, the latter's reliance on an older Boeing 707 airframe and mechanically scanned radar system has led to its planned replacement by the E-7A. Looking ahead, the Australian government has committed to investing between 5 and 7 billion Australian dollars to replace the Wedgetail fleet between 2024 and 2034. This, this move suggests a long-term commitment to maintaining cutting-edge AEWNC capabilities, potentially expanding the fleet or integrating next-generation sensor and networking technologies. Meanwhile, the US, UK, and South Korea have all committed to procuring or embedding personnel with E7A units, further solidifying its reputation as the premier AEWNC platform of the future. Beyond its technical capabilities, the strategic importance of the E7A Wedgetail to Australia's national defense cannot be overstated. The ability to provide real-time situational awareness coordinate complex operations and integrate seamlessly with allied forces ensures that the Wedgetail plays a crucial role in both deterrence and active operations. Given the increasing importance of network-centric warfare, Australia's investment in the Wedgetail represents a forward-thinking approach to modern combat. 
Moreover, the Indo-Pacific region, where Australia plays a key role in security and defense cooperation, is seeing increased geopolitical tensions. With rising concerns over territorial disputes in the South China Sea, heightened military activities by regional powers, and the proliferation of advanced missile and aircraft technologies, Australia's need for robust surveillance and early warning capabilities is paramount. The E-7A Wedgetail, with its ability to oversee vast maritime and air domains, ensures that Australia remains well-equipped to monitor and respond to potential threats. The Wedgetail also serves as an important force multiplier for Allied operations. With its capability to link up with fighter aircraft, naval vessels, and ground-based systems, it provides essential intelligence sharing and battle coordination that enhances the effectiveness of joint operations. Australia's close ties with the United States and the Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Network further emphasize the Wedgetail's role in multinational operations, whether in peacekeeping, counterterrorism, or conventional military engagements. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Wedgetail program is its evolution and adaptability. Since its introduction, the aircraft has undergone various upgrades to improve sensor capabilities, data sharing networks, and survivability measures. Future enhancements may include more advanced electronic warfare systems, increased automation in battle management, and artificial intelligence-driven analytics to further streamline command and control functions. Additionally, Australia's experience with the Wedgetail has positioned the country as a leader in AEW and C operations. The RAF's number two squadron, which operates the fleet, has become a training hub for international partners such as the UK and the US, further reinforcing Australia's strategic defence relationships. This cross-training and collaboration ensure that Australia remains at the forefront of AEW and C operational tactics and strategies. Despite its numerous advantages, there are challenges to consider regarding the long-term sustainability of the Wedgetail fleet. Maintenance and logistical support remain critical, given that the aircraft relies on a unique set of systems that require specialized expertise. Ensuring that spare parts, software updates, and technological enhancements remain readily available is crucial for maintaining the aircraft's operational readiness. Uh, another factor to consider is the ongoing development of next-generation AEWNC platforms. While the Wedgetail remains state-of-the-art, emerging technologies such as space-based surveillance, high-altitude unmanned aerial vehicles, and advancements in artificial intelligence-driven reconnaissance could reshape the AEWNC landscape in the coming decades. Australia must remain proactive in integrating these new technologies into its broader defense strategy to ensure continued operational superiority. In conclusion, the E-7A Wedgetail is an indispensable asset for the Royal Australian Air Force, enabling superior situational awareness, force coordination, and strategic deterrence. Its role in modern warfare doctrine is undeniable providing Australia with a decisive edge in network-centric operations. With its continued evolution and growing international adoption, the Wedgetail is poised to remain a leading AEWNC platform for decades to come. As Australia invests in future capabilities, ensuring the seamless transition to a next-generation AEWNC system will be critical to maintaining strategic dominance in an increasingly complex and contested security environment.